Hi friends, I hope you're all doing well. Today I have a small haul of the new items that I purchased from Charlotte Tilbury from Beautylish and Charlotte Tilbury recently bought out their new collection which is Charlotte Tilbury and Norman Parkinson. I've been waiting for this collection for forever now, I believe for about two months and I purchased some items. It is a small haul because Charlotte Tilbury is really expensive and I purchased all these items with my own money. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. The first item I'll show you guys is where I put everything. This is the limited edition makeup bag and as you can see it's a bit different to the um, normal one which is white with red lips. This is the maroon with gold lips and at the back again it has the inspiration quote of give a woman the right makeup she can conquer the world. And I just love Charlotte Tilbury's little star that she puts everywhere on this little zipper tag too. So we'll see what's inside. The first two items are actually from their Norman Parkinson and Charlotte Tilbury collection and the first one is the cream blush and I just love the packaging. The colour is so soft and feminine and the inside just looks like this. This is the little blush compact and the cream blush. I've used it already so it has my fingers print in there. And this is the colour of the blush. And I love wearing this blush over my foundation but under my powder because this is a cream blush and it blends best that way and also it looks really subtle. I'm wearing it today. It is a nice warm pink so when you wear it, you'll look like you have a very subtle tan or it looks like you're on holiday. So I've been really loving wearing this especially now it's in winter in Australia. So it's really nice to go on your face. The next item from the collection is the Matte Revolution Lipstick and the shade is in Miss Kensington. I just love the sophisticated names that they give everything. Oh, and also the name of the blush was, let me see, Color of Youth. So the Miss Kensington Lipstick is a nude matte. Knowing myself, I just love nudes and I'm wearing it today on my lips and I'll just do a little swatchy tea swatch here. And that's the shade of it. It feels really nice on the lips. It actually feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. It's not drying and it just feels really comfortable. Also, the wear time is really long as well. I can go about um, four hours wearing this and it won't fade away. And it just looks like my lips but better. The next few items are not in the collection and are part of their permanent collection. And the first one is their lip liner in Pillow Talk. And I've been loving, oh, I did a little line here already for you guys, but I've been loving using this lip pencil just on the outer rims of my bottom lips because I have a really dark outer border and so I like to go in with this pencil and just lighten that area out to make my lips look more plump and fuller and I'm wearing this lip liner under the lipstick as well. Next item I got is another lipstick and I got this one immediately after I saw Beauty is a Beauty Crush. Basically, she was wearing this lipstick in her video and I just fell in love with the effect that it was on her. And this is the shade um, Bitch Perfect. Not a very appropriate name, but anywho. So it's very similar to Miss Kensington on me, but this is not matte. It's a bit more glossy. I would say a satin on the lips. Again, it's really moisturizing and comfortable on the lips and I really like it. Very last item I got is one of their Eyes to Mesmerize cream eyeshadows and the shade is in Mono Lisa. And I've been obsessed with this wearing as a base and I have it as a base today. Looks like this. And really when you have it on, the name really depicts the color. It just, just gives you that mesmerizing bronzy brownie finish. Like when you look into the Mona Lisa painting and it's just different hues of browns but it's still so beautiful and captivating. I love wearing this on the eyes. So that's everything of my Charlotte Tilbury haul and as you can see my little bag is empty now. The only thing I was disappointed with is really this bag because I was expecting a canvas. I didn't know it was going to be this um, plasticky material. Because after I watched um, Is It Hello October's video, she had a canvas Charlotte Tilbury limited edition bag and it's much more larger than this and it's much more structured so I didn't expect it would look like this. So that was my only um, disappointment but 
I really really love this eyeshadow, my eyes to mesmerize. I actually want to get more shades. They have a shade called Jean, which is a pink champagne shade, which I really want, but I guess I have to save up for a little while to get that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys are having a lovely week. Thank you so 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 much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like below as well if you do like this video. And until next time, bye!